Let's delete the beta software on your iPhone. Now, if you have a beta version of the iOS operating system, you can always delete it and turn that off. I'm gonna show you how to do that. First thing that we'll do is we'll hop into our settings and we'll tap on general midway down and then at the top software update. Now here you can see automatic updates, but also beta updates. This is a new thing that it now appears in here in iOS 16. I can go in here and the first thing that I'll want to do is just turn this off. Make sure that you don't subscribe to new beta updates. And then we'll walk through the steps of restoring it back to the latest non-beta or delete the non-beta public profile. So let's go out of here and we'll open up a web page that walks us through this. This is on apple.com and it says to remove the developer beta profile, you have to restore your device. So you need a Mac um, or any other computer or anything running iTunes. So basically what you're gonna do is connect your iPhone physically with a cable from your iPhone to your computer and then you're gonna walk through these steps for iPhone 8 or later press and hold the uh, volume up, then the volume down, and then press and hold the side button. And that will turn it into the basically uh, the developer mode or recovery mode. Then once it's in that recovery mode, it will give you the option to click restore here. And basically once you restore it from your backup, it will not include that beta profile. So it is a bit of a pain to go through this process and basically remove that beta profile, but you need another computer physically hook up your phone and basically restore it to the latest full version not a beta public profile hope this helps if you have any questions on that leave them in the comments down below and i'll catch you on the next one